We all know how fast this part of North Carolina continues to grow, but did you know that the Hispanic population is the fastest growing population in North Carolina? Over the next four weeks, CBS 17 is highlighting Hispanic heritage and the impact it's having here. We start off with CBS 17's Amalia Roy as she found out music and dance are some of the best ways to share the culture. Folklorico, I think, is something that identifies with the people. Julio Ruiz started his ballet folklorico group 10 years ago to connect generations of Mexican Americans with their heritage. You don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've come from. It's important for them to know more than anything, kids born here, that they don't have Anglo features. Knowing that they were born here, but connecting them with their own roots. Ballet folklorico is a collective term for dance styles from all over Mexico. Combining elements from the country's indigenous and Spanish colonial history, as well as some traditional ballet techniques. This is a combination, really an influence of many countries because Mexico really adapts those customs and traditions that other countries and other places bring. Mexican tradition also offers children's dance classes so parents can instill cultural pride in their kids from a young age. Now my daughter, you know, she's a second generation, and you've seen her, you know, question where grandparents are coming from, where mo her mother is coming from, where her dad is coming from. And it's beautiful because now, you know, she's getting to celebrate being bicultural. I've been told learning the dance moves are easy. It's just a matter of putting all the steps together, but faster. Let's go. <laughs> Despite the group's success, including performing in front of thousands of people at Bank of America Stadium, Julio says his greatest accomplishment is bringing a piece of Mexico to North Carolina. In Greensboro, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News.